Hello chess aficionados, happy new year, I'm recording this on 1-1-20-24. And this game just happened at the Rapid and uh, Blitz and Rapid in Samarkand. <clears throat> it's played, again. Uh, white is uh, young Krzysztof Duda and uh, black is Magnus Carlsen. I specifically remember when he was asked, do you like the white pieces or the black pieces? And he said, that, like, I think, I'm paraphrasing, like he didn't care. Whatever side he's on, that's where he's going to be playing his best shot and this is one of these instances look at this this was um three three you know three minute game but look at the accuracy even in such a quick game 96 magnus and a 90 to a uh, youngster of duda <clears throat> so let's see how it went out how it went down okay typical okay we're going after this he moves back okay we got the two knights out uh, white castles okay Keeps moving back, castling. <clears throat> Both sides have uh, castled. Now there's more attacking. Moving out of the way. More attacking. Defending. Take. Take. Okay, what do we do now? Do we want to exchange queens or not? <clears throat> I guess not. And then, look at this. And then the prophylactic move to have the king available to be moved out. There's pressure coming. Look at the queen, the knight, and the bishop. Look how they're going to start aligning. So I guess he thinks, okay, I better start escaping. Is this the moment where white thinks in his head they're going to lose? I mean, really, when you think of a prophylactic move, do you, mean, do you know, see what's coming? Like, where is white's plan? What is white wanting to do? It's a little bit, a little behind the eighth ball. You know, you got to be faster. Than a speeding bullet with Magnus Carlsen. Especially if playing white. You can't give him an advantage. Not even an inch, a centimeter, a millimeter, a nanometer. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, so the queen. Okay, there. You. Now, if you're trying to buy position, if the knight takes, then the, the rook will be able to take the knight, the black knight, right? Anyway. So he he also does a prophylactic move here. Uh, now we are moving up. What's the plan here? Okay, to reduce. Okay, so guess who got closer to the line? You see the line between f the fifth and fourth a row. The queen is much closer there, and she's much more open. The black queen. Do you see the positioning here? The positioning here is just incredible, how it just falls into place. Better for Magnus Carlsen <clears throat> after uh, you take. So just this, 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 like the, the white space and the black space. We know if you have art and you have to paint somebody, well, then there's also the, the white space, the outside part. <coughs> and so somehow he's able to see all these things better, uh, Magnus Carlsen, with his opponents, for the most part. Okay, so he attacked, the bishop went back, now we're going to go after these bishops. So the bishops now <clears throat> are gone, they're just knights. What about the queens? Oh, look at this, this is called being the first to take and control of the file. Who is it? Who took control of the file first? Magnus, he moved his rook and takes control of the d file. Okay, another move. Repositioning, he's attacking the queen. He doesn't care, so I guess this is <clears throat> about kind of like, okay, we both agree that we are wanting to reduce. It's a three-minute game, we're reducing, and this is how we're reducing. Take the queen, take the queen. But, and this is the crucial but, what is the difference here with this taking of the queens? It, it is, can you see? Then Magnus's taking induces a check. Well, White's taking induces maybe a threat for on the rook, uh, you know, on the, D, the, the D8 rook. But uh, what's more potent? Attacking your king, king safety, or attacking a rook? So now he has to move the other way. Which is, he, what is he going to do? Is he going to take? Uh, this is this is a crucial moment. 
what what is uh white going to do i mean do that he just doesn't take this knight okay so he's attacking again unbelievable it's like, it's like this is like a an old person's moment you know like a brain fart or something i'm gonna he's gonna be attacking and who's attacking black 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 is attacking because yes who's playing magnus magnus carlson with his wild knight with the berserks the berserks you have to watch my other video about vikings and the the who was called berserk the berserkers anyway <clears throat> you learn something every day especially with chess okay so we take <clears throat> now we have double pawns here and double pawns there double pawns here there everywhere okay now he's like repositioning is gonna take no he just whoop, moves over his king kind of doesn't care about this threat okay the king also moves over are you moving over i'm moving over i'm taking taking interesting and now this is the, the thing the king moves over so that uh, you know the the rook cannot that easily attack it's too close to the black king ha huh. ha huh. interesting so let's look at the pawns structure here we have one two three four five six seven four black one two three four five six seven things things are equal right and they seem to be dead equal does anybody panic no nobody's panicking we're just continuing playing even though this is a three minute game things are going down <clears throat> down fast so we're moving up with that pawn okay the rook is wanting to protect the b pawn the black b pawn so now we are moving up with the this is where end game theory is just so important okay so important okay so that pawn is being threatened a dude that doesn't care and it's taken taken okay see when well, he wants to move down that pawn so now he's protecting that the c pawn <clears throat> takes aha uh -huh. okay one two three four five six one two three four five now <clears throat> it's about the pawn game huh so yeah, definitely king safety. King safety, uh, the wild knight is much uh, stronger positioning uh, positioning theory for black. It's just, you can see the command of the board. Uh, it's just uh, the way you think. The order of thinking of what's important and just how things fall to place. And there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three. That's not a good sign for for white. It's already minus one point four. Okay, we take. And this is where there was a mistake. <clears throat> this is going quickly, by the way. So I'm just gonna go quickly. All right. Imagine. This is endgame three, you guys. You gotta practice endgame pawn endgames. I had the nauseum. Add nauseum until you go be the berserk. That's right. Because Magnus here definitely knows his knight moves and his pawn moves and his king moves. Okay? The blunder was on uh, knight instead of knight d3, it should have gone to um yeah, knight knight d3, not knight d7. It should have gone up and instead of it should have gone down behind so you can put this variation in but i'm just giving you the whole game as it is looks like minus six minus five he still keeps fighting but what for the game was over back there okay you can always <coughs> blunder blunder thunder but not with magnus and this is how he won with the black pieces against the polish fighter a very disappointing look at this minus 34 point this is embarrassing panie duda musimy studiować end games z pionkami i z koniami so congratulations to magnus again i guess he got his revenge he was out for blood as usual especially against the youngster of duda who beat him his and uh, meaning his 125 game streak way back when so 
Anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. 2024. Yes, I'm a little sickish, but hopefully say some prayers out there and I will be better. Au revoir.